I was young and dumb, and I made a really stupid choice. I... I really want to start over with you. No. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvid, and today I want to play something called a Gravelcore game called Protagonist's Remorse. What will we be calling you? You can call me whatever you want, just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> I am Espoir. It means hope in French. Before we begin, I'm curious. Do you see yourself as a soft, gentle person? Or perhaps do you see yourself as someone fiery and not to be messed with? Well, a little bit of both, actually. <laughs> Careful, this determines your protagonist's demeanor. Um, well, obviously, I am very soft and gentle, but, uh, if you mess with anyone I care about, you are going to see the back of my hand. But I am soft and gentle. You've decided to play this game in sweet mode. Oh no. Does that mean I'm gonna have to get somebody else to do the not sweet mode? Your character will be more mild-mannered and gentle. I'm sorry, Espoir. I never wanted to hurt you. I never meant for it to end like this. It's just something I never anticipated. You can understand that, can't you? Of course I can, buddy. If you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it's yours. If it doesn't, then it's cut all ties with you and it doesn't like you and... Okay. <laughs> oh, Is this my ex? He's so scruffy. No. No, I don't. What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're gonna hate me for this. But I've been thinking things over. We've known each other forever, right? Since we were practically kids. And I like you, but... Don't you ever think about how big a world there is out there? Uh-oh. There's so much to do and see. And I'm thinking, college is over, right? School is over. It's time to move on. And we've made all these new friends since... I, I've been thinking about seeing Hana. Well, since this is my sweet and gentle mode, I, I wish you both the very best, and I hope you have a lovely future, and how dare you do this to me, protagonist. No, no, it's all right. Like, Hana from class? Y yeah. <laughs> I, I promise. It's not like I've been seeing her this whole time. I've been faithful. Honest. Yeah, you better have been. <laughs> or I'm gonna have to switch to not-so-nice not mode if you haven't. It's just, she's been in a lot of the same courses as me. And you and I haven't seen each other much lately. We've kind of grown closer, whereas you and I have kind of... drifted apart? Oh, I thought this was Gravelcore, not Emotional Roller Coaster. I... I... Really? She's been going through a lot lately, you know? Her family life's been rough. She's been self-conscious about herself. She broke all her fingers in a tragic car accident, and she's been learning piano again. She kind of needs somebody there for her, to support her. You've always been pretty well put together, though, right? You don't need me breathing down your neck. Besides, I'm sure you've been surrounded by tons of nice guys in your classes, right? You can't honestly tell me that you haven't been curious to try anybody else when I'm not around. No, I will, I will kidnap you, and I will put you in my husband house, and you will become husband number 46. N no I swear, I would never even think about something like that. I haven't even seen anyone besides you. R really I'm sorry, I just assumed. N no matter, I'm sure you'll find somebody soon enough. You're so sweet and kind. You'd be like catnip to any guy looking to settle down with someone. You should take this as a chance to experience new things. Get a new lease on life. See the world, maybe. 
You can do whatever you want, now that you don't have to drag me around. And you don't even have to be scared. I'll still be around. We'll still be friends, right? I guess. As long as you and Hannah are happy. <laughs> How could you? No, no. Of course not. I mean, I, I would still feel a bit salty, but I mean, if you want to go, don't let me stop you. N no? No. I don't think I could do that. Do you even understand what this means? Yeah, but it doesn't have to change things too much, does it? Espoir, you're the best friend that I have. I don't want to live without you. I love you, but I can't do this, if that's how you feel. Don't you see how this could hurt too much? Mm, how long exactly have you two been dating? Jeez. You know, I really wanted this to be easy on us. But I think this might be something we really needed. <gasps> if you're going to be so bothered by this, you might be too attached to me. And that's not good for either of us. I don't really like the way you worded that, friend. I might have to do the not-so-nice playthrough a little bit sooner than later. If anything, this might make you into a stronger person. Goodbye, then. I I'll call you later? To see if you're doing alright. Mm. I think it's best if you didn't do that. That was the last time I saw him. True to his word, and despite my warning, he tried to call later. Several times, in fact. I didn't answer. Well, there, there, there you have it. If you love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, then it's yours. If it doesn't, it's done with you. It never was yours. Ugh. Don't even know the guy's name and I'm feeling salty about it. He kept trying to call the first few weeks later, and he even tried to stop by my place, but I couldn't really bring myself to face him. Fifteen years. We've known each other for fifteen years. Yes, but how long have you been dating? It was difficult to come up with on the spot, but I cried into my pillow that night. It all started coming back to me. Every single thing I'd sacrificed for him. How many times did I turn down clubs or opportunities just to be near him? How many times did I bite my tongue to the point of bleeding as others walked into his life and swarmed all over him? Oh. When I eventually found the strength to stop my crying and take a look at myself in the mirror, I realized something that I'd never truly seen before. I was a shell of myself, and maybe, just maybe, he had been right. Maybe I really had been too attached after all. Maybe I'd become less of a person, and more of a background character in some strange harem of his. Nothing more than an option to be discarded when he didn't see me as useful or appealing. If Hannah's the one he wants, that's his choice, isn't it? Fine, then. That's his choice. He can have her, and if nobody else would choose me, then I guess I'll have to choose myself. <gasps> yeah! Scott earned the power of self-respect. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Be your own prince! Yeah! Rescue yourself! Choose yourself! And so it was. I was not going to stay on the childhood friend character and his distant memories. I was going to live a good life, a full life, and I was going to do it without him to lean on. Yeah! So happy for you. You should throw a party for yourself. Bake a cake for yourself. But don't eat it all in one sitting because that will make you sad. As it just so happened to turn out, the world was pretty big. And without him to be the epicenter of my universe, I suddenly found myself exploring every corner of it with no hesitation. I could cook more, since I didn't have to worry about whether or not he would like it. I didn't have to wait for him to show up before going anywhere. And yeah, I met new people. Not every relationship worked out, but they were fun. 
As long as I remembered not to treat anybody the way he treated me, I was free to just be myself unapologetically. I felt bad sometimes. It felt like cheating, almost. But I just had to remind myself that I was beholden to no one, and that I had the power to keep the promises I made. When I told someone I loved them, I could know I meant it. By the time I'd found a permanent job I liked, and was ready to settle down, I had long forgotten about him. The first few years he'd come up in conversations, sometimes my parents would ask where he was, or a mutual friend would tell me things about his life. He ended up marrying Hana, so much for trying new things. But that was okay. I was surprisingly unfazed by the news. It stung a little, but how could it not? I discarded the news. I didn't need it. Good on you, friend. My life was good, and I was happy. That's all that matters. Oh no. What? It better... Better... It better not! Espoir? <laughs> Espoir? Long time no see. How could you? It, 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 excuse me? Oh, friend, you're not looking too good there. <laughs> Problem? It's me, remember? Dude, I don't even remember your name anymore. God, I, I can't believe it. It's been so long since I've seen you. I, I've really missed you. You look great. Do you remember? Do you, do you remember what... I don't think I ever showed you, but I... Do, do you remember what the back of my fist looks like? Or maybe even the front of my fist? Because I, I can remind you. <laughs> Get out. Go away. Did he always look like this? Had he always looked so... Ordinary? <laughs> Ordinary. The worst insult you could probably call a guy like him is mediocre. Mediocre? I knew who he was, but in my own memories, there'd been this golden glow about him. He'd been so nostalgic for a reason, at least. Now, he just looked plain and withered, like a piece of long-neglected paper. You look like- you don't even look like trash, you just look like paper. You look like brown paper. Had this really been the guy I had obsessed over so much in my youth? Had someone like this really put the wind in my sails? Perhaps the years hadn't been kind to him. Whatever it was, I felt almost pity in my chest for him. Mm. Not too much, of course. Listen, friend. <laughs> Don't you <laughs> me. I hope it's okay that I stopped by. How did you find me? You're stalking me? I've got enough stalkers. Uh, well, I... I, I asked your parents where you were set up these days. We're still cool, to some degree, I guess. They sent my parents a Christmas card last year. That doesn't sound appropriate. Yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of broken up now, Mom and Dad. I've tried to email you. I know you changed your number, right? I tried to call you when some old guy picked up. But I figured if I emailed you, you'd get that. Have you been getting anything I've sent at all? No, listen, I... I I don't even know why you're doing this, but I think you should probably leave. It's been too long. We really don't have much in common anymore. Also, I don't use my college email anymore. I I have a professional working email now. Wait, seriously? You really haven't been getting a single thing I've sent? No, not really. I thought I made it pretty clear. I wasn't interested in talking anymore. I changed my phone number? You could have just changed your phone plan. 
No, no, that's not... I don't even know what to do with this. It's been so long since I've even remotely thought of him. I don't know how to feel. I don't know if I'm even processing the correct reality. Why is he here? Why does he look like he's been rolled down the side of a hill? Maybe he was literally. Maybe Hannah got tired of his bullcrap and rolled him down a hill. <laughs> Please. Please, can we just talk? I've gone to all this effort. I I've put plenty in. And all I'm asking for right now is just a chance to talk to you. Face to face. No. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I have nothing to say. Get out my face. I don't really have anything to say to you. Not after all this time. I'm sorry. It's totally okay. You don't have to say anything. I get it. You seem like you're doing well, and I know this was pretty sudden and impulsive with me anyways. Even though I did let you know I was coming. You're on very thin ice, and it's already cracking, protagonist. Mm. I made a mistake. You, you broke up with me, and you got married. That's one heck of a mistake. I've been thinking about how things went between us before, and the more I think about it, the more I realize that nothing's been the same without you. I was young and dumb. And I made a really stupid choice. I... I really want to start over with you. No. No. Can I take back my choice? Can I choose you instead? This guy. <laughs> no, honey. No. No. That that ship has sailed and gotten boarded by Jack Sparrow. He can't be serious. You're married to Hannah still, aren't you? No. No, you really shouldn't be doing this to her. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, what 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 is Hannah doing at, at, after all this? You've got the wrong idea. Hana isn't going to be a problem anymore. We're divorcing soon. The papers are still in the works, but it's semi-official. That's horrible. Well, now, divorce, divorces are happy, mostly happy occurrences. It's two people who are incompatible not having to be together anymore. I mean, imagine if they didn't like each other and they didn't get a divorce. Now that would be a problem, but still, you come to my house in the midst of your own divorce. I... I'm sorry. No, it's a good thing. It means that neither of us have to feel bad. It's not like I left her or anything. This is completely her decision. Feel bad about... Getting back together? I think this was a sign. And you can believe me or you can not believe me. Fine, I know there's a lot of work I need to do to rebuild things, but let's take this at face value. It's a second chance. It'd be a shame to let an opportunity like this just go by, and I've really, really missed you. After we stopped talking, I lost contact with most everybody else from college, too. There's so much I want to catch up on, and there's so much I have to ask you about. Don't tell me you aren't the least bit curious about what could have been. And this time, there's nobody else to come between us. I'm all yours. I am gonna mush your face with the entirety of my hand. Like a cat trying to get you out of its face. Please? Just one more chance. No. No, 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 no. But let's start with coffee. <laughs> I, th I think you need to leave, friend. I think you need to get to stepping. Please. Please get away from me. Espoir? I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... I... I can't do this. 
I think you should go. I'm doing fine, but I'd appreciate just leaving things as they are. But things aren't okay, and they could be. I think we should consider the good that could come from this. From you and me. What would I have to do to make this work? I I'd do it. I'll never speak to Hana again. I'll never look at anyone else but you. You don't know what it's been like. I've been so alone. I just want to feel normal with you. I want our life back. If I could make my face any more stonier. Please don't make this difficult. Please don't make me have to do the other playthrough right now and be and be super not nice. Would you kindly get out? I think he got the message. I never saw or heard from him again after that. I will admit, I was a little messed up after that. Yeah. Like your walking trauma coming back into your life. Ugh. I had to cry. I didn't know what else to do. But oddly enough, when I was finished, I was right back to being fine. I didn't miss him at all, and if anything, I felt a little better. Yeah, confirmation that you don't need that scrub anymore. That's a word I haven't used since the 90s. It was like a final bit of closure for me. I hadn't needed it, or asked the gods for it, and I definitely don't want him to end up this way, but I really had done my best. I put my whole heart into our relationship, and all these years later, that effort still left an impression. Hmm. <sighs> Out of curiosity, I went to go and check my old email later. He'd sent me over 70 emails over the course of five months. It was almost a little eerie to read them. Some of them were about his days and the updates he'd have as he went through them. Some of them were pages of love letters that went on and on and on. And some of them were biting cutdowns of his time with Hannah. Aww. Poor Hannah. Apparently, things hadn't been well for a while. Things in college were almost like a dream. She had accepted his confession, and life had been so happy afterwards. But over time, they just seemed to find less and less to connect over. They shared none of the same hobbies, and they couldn't be more different. She started competing in piano internationally. He stayed at home and worked in as an accountant. Eventually, he discovered that she was cheating with some melancholic guy she'd met overseas. <gasps> Hannah! How could you? Those were the most recent emails. She said she felt it was her job to save him, and she had to be there for him in a way that meant she didn't have time for anyone else. If you say so, Hannah. Surely he'd understand. After that, I guess she decided never to come home again. Ooh, that's when he started asking about us. You'd never You'd do never this, do to, this me. to me, right, right Espoir? Espoir? Well, I wouldn't, but... I mean, you started it. God, I miss you so much right now. As I read through all the drama and venom and mourning of our past, I couldn't help but feel like I'd dodged a serious bullet. Wow. Wowzers, indeed. How sad. Let me play you the world's smallest violin. Okay, maybe maybe a slightly bigger world's smallest violin. Like, maybe the world's second smallest violin. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. I hope he's found the same piece I have. I'm doing well, and I'm moving on. And if he hasn't learned anything from this, if he's still the same guy who broke my heart so nonchalantly all those years ago, I hope he understands that he's the biggest source of his own pain. He has nobody to blame but himself. I think you need to be single for a while, friend. I think that guy needs to not look for happiness in other people. I'm kind of happy with that decision. I don't know if that could go any differently. Well, I mean, it could go differently. What if I say, How could you? My heart, she is breaking in two. How could you do this to us?
Yeah, 15 years is a long time, but how long were you dating? You've known each other for 15 years, but have you been, like, sparking for 15 years? Which is fine. Which is fine. That's... In fact, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. You should have married me, but no. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? Yeah, protag. Did I do something wrong? I don't understand. No, no, you've never done anything wrong. You're perfect, Espoir. Maybe if we hadn't decided to rush into things, we could have come together later. After we'd had some more experience. But you've done nothing to deserve this. It's just how life is sometimes. I'll remember that. I'll put a pin in that. So I've done nothing wrong, but... There's nothing I can do? You're just done with me? Don't say it like that. It sounds like you feel like I've used you. Well, I mean... Well, I feel used. Jeez. You know, I really wanted this to be easy on us. Yeah, I, I wanted this beat down to be easy on you too, but it's, it's just that that's just the way life is sometimes. I probably should stop threatening violence on people who wrong me in the slightest. That's probably very uncouth and unladylike, but you gotta admit that some people deserve just a punch in the mouth. Right in the teeth. <laughs> Let's see, I think before I said, I have nothing to say, or what could you possibly have to say? What, what, all right, all right, all right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. What, what have you got? I, I don't know. I don't feel like we have any reason to really talk. Not to discredit your efforts, but what could you possibly have to say? I made a mistake. A uh, pretty big one. <sighs> Alright, I don't know if this choice is giving him a chance. I would not. I would be like, okay, bye. As I take a torch to that bridge. No, but let's start with coffee. I don't really know. This is a lot to process. Could you first maybe just kind of maybe just back out out of my face, friend? Just, just kind of... Just kind of step back. I think I need some coffee. Would you like a cup? Oh, I still don't forgive you, though. This is not going to become a thing. Even if it does in the game, it will not. Y yeah. Y yes, please. To be continued. <gasps> no, I want to see how I utterly beat him down. After we have some coffee. Well, protagonist, I guess all that's left is the not-so-nice playthrough. How am I gonna get V to here? She hasn't shown up in a while. Oh, I'm so full. I, I wonder who can I get to eat this chocolate that I have here. I, I suppose I should just throw it away since I don't really want this chocolate and it's just going to go into the trash. This, this chocolate that I have here... You know... Oh my god! Poo! <laughs> there. She literally made me dig through the trash to get some chocolate! Hello, I am the Void. I am the evil alter ego of Espoir that she transforms into so that she doesn't have to do the mean choices in video games. And I am joined by my best friend Papyrus. And not Sans, because he said I look like Velma. My name is Vide. It means void in French. So Espoir called me because she said she needed uh, not-so-nice uh, choices made. So I guess I will be the hot-tempered one. Let me finish my chocolate! You've decided to play this game in salty mode. Your character might be more jaded and abrasive. I like that. Jaded and abrasive. I'm sorry, Veed. I never wanted to hurt you. I never meant for it to end like this. It's just something I never anticipated. You can understand that, can't you? Stab. Boy, that was a short game. <laughs> 
W what do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're gonna hate me for this, but I've been thinking things over. We've known each other forever, right? Since we were practically kids. And I like you, but don't you ever think about how big a world there is out there? There's so much to do and see, and I'm thinking college is over, right? School is over. It's time to move on. And we've made all these new friends since. I've been thinking about seeing Hannah. Like, Hannah from class? Hold on, let let me write her obituary. Let, she, she might need that in the coming future. Yeah... I, I promise, it's not like I've been seeing her this whole time. I've been faithful, honest. How could you do this to me? After everything I've done for you, I, I have always cooked for you. I've stayed up to help you study. Tell me one thing that I've done to deserve this. Nothing, but you're the one making it into something complicated and dramatic. Oh, you want complicated and dramatic? It's not a big deal. College couples do this all the time after graduation. You don't have to make me feel bad. If I'm really so horrible for doing this, aren't I doing you a favor? That's like two... Two narcissistic, abusive people just butting heads. Jeez. You know, I really wanted this to be easy on us. But I think this might be something we really needed. If you're going to be so bothered by this, you might be too attached to me. And that's not good for either of us. Goodbye, then. I... I'll call you later. Goodbye, then. To see if you're doing all right. I said good day, sir! I said good day! <laughs> Veed? Long time no see. It's me, remember? Uh... Uh, uh, hole. <laughs> right? That, that's your name, right? God, I can't believe it. It's been so long since I've seen you. I, I've really missed you. You look great. I've nothing to say to you. I really don't have anything to say to someone like you. I think you should go. Now. Hey, I can understand holding a grudge, but judge me based on all the work I've done to get here at least. Doesn't that say something? <laughs> no. It says that you'd make a decent stalker, but not much better than that. Uh, you are a pathetic stalker. View my stalker husbands. It also says that you're shameless, and that you must have a lot of free time on your hands. It's not stalking. Don't call it that. Paps, is it stalking? <laughs> That's pretty pathetic, bro. <laughs> I have relationships with other people, and one of them just so happens to be with a mutual connection. Yeah, my parents. Mine. That was weird and creepy of you to do. I'm probably going to have to talk to them later, actually. If that story's even true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you stalker. Not even, not even a good stalker. <laughs> this guy. Think whatever you want. Just hear me out before you set your mind in stone. Set my mind in stone the day you said you left me. I made a mistake. I've been thinking about how things went between us before. And the more I think about it, the more I realize that nothing's been the same without you. I was young and dumb, and I made a really stupid choice. How could you say that about Hannah? <laughs> I... I really want to start over with you. No. Espoir said it best before. No. Mm -mm. No way. He can't be serious. You jerk! W what you dump me for Hannah, and then you actually think it's okay to come back here and two-time on her? Do you really see me as having so little respect for myself? Ah, oh, I'm oozing respect for myself now. I would never two-time on Hannah. How could you assume something like that? I know you two are married, aren't you? 
And yet you're here, talking to me about this. That's so gross. For your information, Hannah and I are getting a divorce. She's leaving me. Espoir gave you the second uh, smallest violin in the world. I'm gonna give you the, the, the grand prize winner of smallest violin in the world. It's, it's so small, you can't even hear it. She met someone else at work, and yes, I'm aware of the irony. I never cheated on you, and I'd never cheat on her. Our relationship and marriage are completely over. Yeah, so yeah, cheating is bad. Cheating is bad. But just dropping someone like a hot potato is bad as well. D don't you try to calm me down, Pap. Don't calm me down, Pap. No, I'm mad. We just have some paperwork to get through. I'm here on completely legitimate grounds. I have to admit, I didn't expect that. Well, I'm not a spa, so I don't care. Get out. <laughs> get, get, back, get, get back in the rain. Get back in the rain. I think this was a sign, and you can believe me, or you cannot believe me. Fine, I know there's a lot of work I need to do to rebuild things. But let's take this at face value. It's a second chance. Uh huh. no, still no, uh-uh, no, mm-mm, -uh, no. The strongest word you can ever say in your lifetime is no! It'd be a shame to let an opportunity like this just go by, and I've really, really missed you. Back up, fool! Please, just one more chance. I think you need to leave. <laughs> no, at this point I would like- You want to see my knife co collection? You, you want to see the new knives that I've bought? Get the heck away from me. Veed? You're such a creep. You need to leave. Now. Veed, don't do this. Oh, I'm gonna do this. What about us? What, what about school? What about college? What about everything we've ever been through? It's not my fault you decided to throw everything away. You've made your bed. Go sleep in it. Please. I don't want to be alone. Oh, Pappy, he doesn't want to be alone. Oh, that that's so sad. Oh, oh, that's so terrible. Oh, 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 how terrible. <laughs> You were popular enough in college. I'm sure you'll find somebody else soon. And then you can drop them like a hot potato. Get out of my house and never contact me again. I don't feel like going to jail tonight. I think he got the message. The pulling of the knife on him was probably unnecessary. I never saw or heard from him again after that. I will admit, I was a little messed up after that. I was not. Well, now that we know that let's start with coffee is like trying to get back with him, how about now? Pap. Pap, what are you doing? Get your hand off the mouse, Pap. Pap! Papyrus, no! No, I don't want that! No, I don't want to forgive him! Stop, stop, stop! God, I can't even think. I need a coffee. Did you want one too? I'm not going to offer more than once. Y yes, yes, please. To be continued. And he was never heard from again. His last location was my house, and there are stra there's a strange new, fresh dug up ground in my rose garden. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope.